Hey guys, so as you can see from the title, I do have some bad news. Um, my guinea pig died two days ago and it was really sad, but I was actually about to get rid of him um, because, a lot of you don't know this, but I'm actually allergic to my guinea pig because um, I think it's like something with the dandruff. I'm also like allergic to cats and like a lot of furred animals and like I'm actually allergic to hay, so... I just took a big risk going to get a guinea pig, but, um, and I had decided that it's just, my allergies have been getting worse, and it just wasn't good, and it'd probably be best for me, and my dad's also allergic to the guinea pig too, so I was like, it'd just probably be best if I got him to a new home, and we were actually going to take him to his new home tomorrow on Thursday, but he died two days ago, and it was just so random, like, I never thought I would see him die, like, I've had him, like, almost exactly and exactly a year and two days because I got him October 7th 2016 and he died October 9th 2017 so that was so weird I don't uh, I don't know exactly how old he was because we did get him from the animal shelter and they weren't sure like they just found him like in a box in a park and so I'm just happy that I could give him like a lot like a good life you know from for the time um, but he was going to go to, like, a really good home and all. I definitely made sure that he was going somewhere good. Um, but, so it was really sad. Just, like, I feel like it was, um, it was really, yeah, it was just, like, really sad. But I was about to get rid of him and all. But it's just, like, you don't want them to die, you know. You just want them to go to a new good home. And it was really sad because that home was going to be so good for him. Like, it was going to be so good. Oh, my goodness. But, um, yeah, so that was really upsetting and a lot of you also don't know this but Gerbil here this is Jax and if you don't know what Leo looks like uh yeah this is Leo the guinea my guinea pig who I had for yeah like a year and a half but um yeah I showed you that picture of Jax because I've actually been a while now like a couple of months but Jax actually died too um from and I'm I'm like I'm like ninety percent sure that it was because of age, because when I got them from someone else too and it was like they said that they've had them for a year and a half and then I had them like almost exactly a year just like Leo, pretty crazy but um yeah she actually died too I still have Polly my other gerbil my albino she's doing great she's like still like really active and everything um it was she didn't ever even she didn't really ever seem to be act to she never really seemed to act stressed or anything because I think we got Jax out of there fast enough because I noticed it really quickly I saw her like I saw Jax like up against there and I could tell that it wasn't good and it was like completely opposite from when Leo died he just like died yeah well I mean it was written it wasn't as random because, like, I could tell she was being left less active, but I didn't think she was, like, gonna die like that or anything, but for Leo, like, I had just, like, walked in here, and then he was just laying down weird, and his head was in there, and at first I just thought he was sleeping, and I called my parents in, and they're, like, because I could still see him breathing, but it was, like, super slow, but then when I called them in there, they're, like, I don't think that he's just, and then, you know, and then I realized that, oh, and so I, like, got some lettuce, but by that time, he, and he just didn't even like flinch he just it just he just stopped all of a sudden and so we like put him in a box and did the burial and everything but when Jax died it was like at 8 45 at night and it's like even harder if you have like two in one cage like that because I mean you're like you don't know I like could hurt Polly like she could get sick so we it was 8 45 at night and our pet store closes at nine and I didn't have any spare bedding so we had to like we drove over there real fast before it would close. We grabbed the bedding and you know how you have to throw everything out so diseases don't spread like to Polly. Like I don't want her getting sick too, you know. So we like drove over to the pet store super quick and we like got the bedding and all the stuff we needed to replace everything. And we just like got that in and we like cleaned the cage real quick and we got Jax like, you know, taken care of. And we got Polly, you know, cleaned it all out for her but she actually... And, like, she got some new bedding and she got some new toys, so she did get excited about that. I paid extra, uh, like, attention to her, like, the next couple of days, like, more, even more, like, hand taming and more, like, like, hand tie and more treats and stuff just to, like, um, like, take her mind off of it. I didn't want her getting stressed out. I don't want to lose two pets that close. It's just so sad, like, losing a whole bunch of pets, like, at the same time like that. 
um, that used to happen with my hermit crabs and all, but, uh, yeah, you may be asking, like, if I'm going to get any more pets, like, since they did die and everything, um, the answer is yes, but not, most likely yes, but not too soon, because I do want to, like, get a little bit more money first, uh, and it, the pet would probably be, like, a hamster. I want to get, like, some sort of lizard, like, but, I mean, I don't know if I could, that's just, like, a lot of extra work and everything. I really like lizards. Um, I wanted to try, kind of try something new, but, um, I don't know. That may just be, like, another dream of mine or whatever. But, uh, it would probably be a ham another hamster. Um, and I'd probably put it, like, if Polly ever passed, I'd probably put her, in, like, in that tank. Or I may, um, like, the hermit crab tank, I may move them to a bigger tank and put the hamster in there. Or if somehow my hermit crabs just all die or something. <sighs> so sad. But if they ever all die or something, um, I'd probably put a hamster in that tank too. I don't really know. That's just something I can, I have a lot of time to decide on. Because it is just a lot of work having so many pets at the same time. And I don't want to just rush into anything new like I usually do. And then, um, but yeah. So I don't think I'll be getting any more pets too soon, but you guys will still be seeing my other, the pets I still have, you know, in videos. Um, but yeah, so I think that's all for this video. I just wanted to let you know what happened. So it is, yeah, it's really sad um, that they, you know, pass, but yeah. So thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you in my next video.